Superpath is a major part of my practice and career. So we started doing Superpath 12 years ago. Superpath is, uh, is an acronym. And that acronym stands for Superior Portal Assisted Total Hip. But what it is, is it's kind of a part of a family of procedures that are known as microinvasive procedures. So Superpath started and created this whole nother category of hip replacements that is, um, that is based anatomically on not damaging muscle and tendon, which is what everybody talks about, but also not damaging further soft tissue in, in indirect fashion because there's no physical twisting, pulling, tugging, stretching that you would otherwise have done. So what we see in our hands is that patients just naturally recover very easily. The other thing that we see is that we don't have to worry about precautions. Precautions are the idea that you can't turn a certain position or move a certain way for fear of dislocating that ball out of the socket because those tissues that you have damaged uh, need to repair or need to heal. Uh, we don't have to worry about that. So patients in our hands have a very different post-operative experience. In our hands, we delay physical therapy. We give the patients time to heal. Uh, we, we don't let anybody do physical therapy after hip replacement until at minimum one, one month because we want patients to heal up first before trying to work on their functional improvement. And, um, um, and patients just feel better at that time frame. There's another thing that happens in our practice which is different from uh, other hip replacement techniques. And that is, is that no matter how the surgery is done, it still takes the patient a solid two to three months to heal the implant into the bone to actually solidify and recover from the surgery itself. The problem that I have in my practice and the problem that we see is that our patient's feeling of how well they're doing is outpacing their actual healing. So it's not uncommon for us to see patients that are feeling good enough and are doing so much that at about week three to week five, they're coming back with more pain and irritation because they forget that they'd had surgery and they think that they're already healed when they're not. So we always have to warn our patients, you know, hold back, it will happen in time. We're not worried about scar tissue, we're not worried about any of that stuff. We just want you to give yourself time to heal. And that conversation is so drastically discrepant from the rest of the field that um, it kind of throws patients a little bit off guard. Well, we took 500 patients and we asked them, how much pain were you feeling on day, uh, um, at, the, at the most you can remember on day one, week one, and month one? What was the biggest number that you can remember? And we found that 80% without narcotics uh, were feeling less than a four out of 10 pain. And that's kind of compelling because if you had a more traditional surgery, um, you could easily get less than four out of 10 pain but you'd have to add a lot of medications to make that work. You'd really have to cover up a lot of things. And we're finding that just naturally by doing the surgery in, in that fashion, we don't have to worry about it. Um, like I said before, the recovery time frame is about the same, but the way it looks, the picture of that recovery is vastly different. So I can tell you that in, in our hands, our patient's recovery is surprisingly easy and they're very happy. And, and uh, I, I don't have a lot of patients coming in to me grumbly. They're usually all smiling and can't believe how easy it is.